What's going on guys, Jimmo here again with another very exciting video where we're going to be doing a little bit of paint stripping if you haven't guessed already. And you'll be very happy to know that my softball season has just finally come to an end so it's going to be freeing up my time considerably. I can finally get those videos out I've been talking about. I got like about 10 or so filmed already that I just haven't had time to edit. So they should be coming out very shortly so you can look forward to that. So let's get into this one here which I did today which is stripping a hood. So the first thing we're going to be doing is buzzing over it with some 40 grit sandpaper. That's just going to kind of scuff it up and give our paint stripper something to sort of bite into and help kind of get right in there and lift it a lot more efficiently. I've done it both ways. It seems to work a heck of a lot better if you rough it up first. So what we're basically going to do is blob it on with a brush. Uh, Cody there should be wearing some gloves because it's going to sting like hell when he gets it on his fingers. But uh, that's his problem anyway. What you're seeing there is a product by Proform, and I gotta say it's not the best paint stripper I've ever used. I've used it before, and I think I complained about it once on Instagram already. I don't know why we ended up reordering it. The best stuff I'd ever used was a blue one, towel strip I think it was called, um, but uh, I don't think we can get it anymore if all the jobbers tell me that it's been discontinued for some reason. I don't know what, uh, maybe it's just too toxic killing off all the hobos that walk by. I'm not sure, but... The next thing we did after brushing it all on, this was actually an idea from Cody who picked it up in trade school and it was pretty pretty smart actually. It's to put a piece of plastic over top of the hood and what that's going to do is keep all of the vapors and stuff on the hood and in that area and help it lift the paint more efficiently and it's also nice because when you walk by it's not burning your retinas out. So as you can see, it didn't really lift the paint as efficiently as we would have liked it to. And I'm going to fault that because that paint stripper is garbage and I don't know why we keep re reordering it. But anyway, luckily we had this stuff that I meant to use from the very beginning, which is from Dominion, which is a clear paint stripping product. And it works a lot better, not as well as the blue stuff did, but you'll see in a sec that it actually lifts the paint, which is kind of a quality that you really look for in a paint stripper. And normally you have to let this stuff kind of sit on there for about 15 to 20 minutes, sometimes a bit longer, but what you don't want to do is let this stuff dry. You don't want to walk away from it for a few hours and come back or else it'll still be all caked on there and it won't come off very well. So once you let it, um, you know, let it do its thing and lift all the paint, ideally you can just scrape it off with a scraper and anything that's left behind you can sand away after. So the times that you might use this compared to sanding would be when you have some sort of defect with the coating itself and you know that the adhesion is compromised or the paint coating just it needs to come off before you can put anything else on top. So in this case here it was a warranty job from Honda and the front end, the, well the bumper, sorry the hood mostly had some very small cracks in it, very kind of microscopic almost just across the entire panel that uh, you could really tell couldn't you couldn't just simply prime and paint over it because there's an adhesion problem somewhere so the entire coating has to come off. Other times you might use paint stripper is when the car has been painted several times and you have a very thick film build which compromises the integrity of the coating, the adhesion, and it'll make it more prone to chipping and that kind of thing. And as far as the time comparison goes, you're probably looking between one to two hours of sanding versus 30 to 45 minutes for the paint stripper to do its thing and during most of that time you can be off doing something else. So you can even see right through this plastic film that it's starting to wrinkle up and lift the paint finally and we're having some success with this other paint stripping product. Now once all of this paint has uh, kind of come up after about 15 to 20 minutes or so you can grab a paint scraper and just kind of pile it up and toss it away. Whatever is left afterwards, what you'll want to do is run the sander over with some 80 grit paper or so. And you'll notice that we taped the edges up before we did all of this because what can happen with paint stripper if you don't tape up the edges is it can creep onto the underside of the panel that you're working on and strip the paint underneath of the hood in this case. And we'd have to paint underneath the hood as well, which we don't want. So we're simply going to just sand the edges away afterwards. And before we sand it though, we are going to wash it down with some water and dry it off very thoroughly before moving on to the next step, which is going to neutralize and get rid of any of that stripper that's on there. So we're just going to use some 80 grit sandpaper here to 
get rid of any paint that's still left, usually or mostly just around the edges, but there's sometimes a few spots that your stripper maybe didn't uh, pick up and it usually comes off fairly quick with some 80, but we'll go over the entire thing with some 80 real quick and then clean it off and it's ready for primer. Now, I'm not going to get too in-depth with the priming application. If you need more information on that, have a look at my channel. I've got a ton of other videos that can definitely help you out with picking primers and starting with bare metal and working your way up. And I think that's going to be it for this time. So don't forget to subscribe because, like I say, i got a ton of other videos, new videos coming very soon. And check me out on Facebook. I'll have a link somewhere on the screen here, hopefully right now. And before you go, let me just leave you guys with some food for thought. Have a look at this bumper here. So people ask me all the time which product is better than the other, which clear coat shines better, brighter, stronger, you know, the whole thing. So I thought I would just put it out to you guys and you let me know what you think. I'm going to show you three jobs. I have a Grand Am here, front cover. I have a Dodge Ram and then an older Ford Ranger box side that I sprayed. And... You just need to narrow it down to either Nason, which is the lower end clear that I've shown before, or a higher end DuPont clear, which is about three to four times the cost of it. So let me know what you think, and we will see you next time.